do not overlap your training and experience reports. Fundamental, that important. How do you manage a situation like that? Within a minute, let me explain. TR number one, operating on level AB, which is just entering into the, into the work environment. You worked on two projects during that time. So how do you handle it? TR number one, I worked for 52 weeks. Project one, explain what the project was all about. How did you handle it? What was your roles and responsibilities? You highlight your input during that, that period of time. Obviously, it will be more on a, on a junior level. You illustrate that properly, and that's project one taken care of. Project number two, you contextualize it. You say, during this 52 weeks, during that same time, you were working on project number two. What was your roles, roles and responsibilities? What was the project all about? The budget, all of those kind of things go in there. What was your activities during that period of time? And you illustrate that properly in project number two. So TR consists of two projects, 52 weeks worked on level A, B. First project, after you got your qualification. Then obviously as you move forward, then your TRs and your responsibility level will change and you'll have to cover all the level outcomes. That's how you handle it. It's all about the contextualization. Good luck.